iHeartRadio bankrupt. Platypus milk. Bitcoin tumbles again and gold spills on Russia. Russians. <laughs> Russians <laughs> run away. Hi, I'm Rob Onspock, and sometimes I make mistakes, even on live Facebook streaming. But if you don't know who I am, I own Unspock Media, and this is Season 2, Episode 54, where, again, mistakes happen. If you're just tuning in, what I do is I take some of the trending subjects found on Facebook and give you my spin, my take, my thoughts, my opinion. Well, we got four of them today. Let's see if we can get through without any more mistakes. Doubtful. <clears throat> iHeartRadio, or iHeartMedia, which is the parent of iHeartRadio, files for bankruptcy, reaches restructuring agreement in principle. The company behind the biggest U.S. radio broadcaster filed for Chapter 11 after reaching an agreement in principle with investors over a balance sheet restructuring. You know... <clears throat> I've never been a fan of iHeartRadio. I know why they did it. They they combined a lot of these radio stations so they could consolidate some of their newscasters. But here's the thing, you know, I, I've we have a, a, a local iHeartRadio in my town where there's no local newscasters. So every time they pronounce the name of our town, it's wrong. And that's the problem. A lot of these newscasters for iHeartRadio could be out in California, could be in New York, and they, you know, do all the programs all at once, and then they filter them out to their radio stations. So there's no local people involved anymore. And that's, that's bad because, you know, you take that local human element out of the picture, and the radio just loses its personality, just my opinion. <clears throat> well, I'm not not even going to try this. It says, platypus milk may help us fight antibiotic resistance. Who's up for a glass of platypus milk? Just comment below. I'll make sure you get a can, maybe. I don't even know where to buy it. It says, the human body is building up a resistance to antibiotics, but the platypus may be able to help or not but it tastes like shit <clears throat> just my opinion well you know my opinion on bitcoin if you've joined me before you know i mentioned bitcoin quite a bit over the last year many many times it says over 60 billion dollars was wiped off the value of cryptocurrencies in the last 24 hours as Bitcoin slide continues, increased regulatory scrutiny, Google banning cryptocurrency related ads, and continued Bitcoin selling by the trustees of, looks like Mountain Goats, I don't know what it is, I don't even, never heard of it before, was behind the fail in cryptocurrency prices. Well, it's an overinflated product that has no real backing. So, Eventually, it's going to fail. But there are pundits out there that still believe wholeheartedly that Bitcoin is the future. It's not the Bitcoin that's the future. It's the program, the blockchain behind Bitcoin that will be the future. Because it that blockchain powers a lot of the other elements. And I think you know companies are gravitating towards that technology, but not Bitcoin itself. So... There you go. Just my thoughts on that. Well, <clears throat> it could be in Russia. You could be a rich person. Gold spills on Russian went runway after plane door glitch. Russia <coughs> ah. Russian news reports say that the hatch of a cargo plane carrying precious metals accidentally flew open upon takeoff, scattering at least three tons of gold on the runway. Well, if you've ever picked up a gold brick, they're pretty heavy. So to have three tons of these bricks fly out, um, you know, it's going to take you a while to clean them all up. So if you were able 
to be on that runway when it happened. You better hide yourself because <laughs> Russia's, Russians aren't friendly and they will come after their gold. So, just watch it. Well, that's it for today's trends. If you want to see more trends, look on Facebook to the right side and you'll see what's happening in technology, in news, in sports, in media. There's a lot there. I only select three or four a day and I run this show Monday through Friday. So tomorrow, we'll hope to see you on episode 55 and then I take the weekend off. Well, if you'd like to learn a little bit more about me and what I do and how I help my clients build trust with their audience, visit me at onspockmedia.com. And while there, click on the eHeroes picture and you can listen to the various interviews I've done with a lot of brilliant entrepreneurs. Um, it's a podcast and it's available on iTunes, Google Play, TuneIn, Player FM, Listen Notes, subscribe on Android, Apple TV, and a bunch of other ones. It's being added to a lot of podcast places every week. So check it out. Well, that's it for the show. Thanks for watching. Tune in for future episodes. And if you're seeing this on YouTube, you got to subscribe. Adios. Have a great day.